Scenario 1. A 50-year-old man presents with a one-month history of a rapidly growing, painless, flesh-colored papule on his nose. The papule has recently started to bleed. MCQ. What is the most likely diagnosis? A. Squamous cell carcinoma B. Basal cell carcinoma C. Melanoma D. Actinic keratosis E. Seborrheic keratosis Answer. The most likely diagnosis is squamous cell carcinoma. Squamous cell carcinoma is a type of skin cancer that starts in the squamous cells, which are the flat cells that make up the outer layer of the skin. It is the second most common type of skin cancer after basal cell carcinoma. Squamous cell carcinoma is typically slow-growing, but it can be aggressive and spread to other parts of the body if not treated. Detailed Explanation the patient's presentation of a rapidly growing, painless, flesh-colored papule on the nose is consistent with squamous cell carcinoma. Other features that are suggestive of squamous cell carcinoma include Location on sun-exposed areas of the skin history of skin cancer immunosuppression age over 50 The differential diagnosis for this patient also includes basal cell carcinoma, melanoma, actinic keratosis, and seborrheic keratosis. Scenario 2 a 30-year-old woman presents with a two-week history of a pruritic, red rash on her upper back. The rash is slightly raised and has a scaly surface. MCQ, what is the most likely diagnosis? 1. A. Tinea corporis 2. B. Psoriasis 3. C. Atopic dermatitis 4. D. Lichen planus 5. E. Pityriasis rosea answer. The most likely diagnosis is tinea corporis. Tinea corporis is a fungal infection of the skin. Tinea corporis typically presents as a pruritic, red rash with a scaly border. The rash can be single or multiple and can occur anywhere on the body. Other features that are suggestive of tinea corporis include 1. History of contact with an infected person or animal 2. Exposure to a humid or moist environment 3. Recent travel to a tropical or subtropical region The differential diagnosis for this patient also includes psoriasis, atopic dermatitis, lichen planus, and pityriasis rosea. The scraping will be looked for fungal hyphae, which are the thread-like structures that make up the fungus. Scenario 3. A 10-year-old boy presents with a one-week history of a painful, vesicular rash on his hands and feet. The rash is also on his mouth and lips. MCQ, what is the most likely diagnosis? 1. A. Hand, foot and mouth disease 2. B. Chickenpox 3. C. Measles 4. D. Rubella 5. E. Roseola answer. The most likely diagnosis is hand, foot and mouth disease. Hand, foot and mouth disease is a viral infection that is caused by the Coxsackie virus or enterovirus. It is typically seen in children under the age of 10. Scenario 4. A 25-year-old woman presents with a three-month history of a patchy, hypopigmented rash on her chest and back. The rash is not itchy or painful. MCQ. What is the most likely diagnosis? 1. A. Vitiligo 2. B. Pityriasis alba 3. C. Tinea versicolor 4. D. Lichen planus 5. E. Psoriasis answer. The most likely diagnosis is vitiligo. Vitiligo is an autoimmune condition that causes the loss of pigment in the skin. It typically presents as patchy, hypopigmented or depigmented areas of skin. Vitiligo can occur anywhere on the body, but it is most common on the face, hands, and arms. 2. Associated autoimmune conditions such as thyroid disease or alopecia areata, the differential diagnosis for this patient also includes pityriasis alba, tinea versicolor, lichen planus, and psoriasis. Scenario 5. A 70-year-old woman presents with a two-week history of a pruritic, red rash on her legs. The rash is slightly raised and has a scaly surface. MCQ. What is the most likely diagnosis? 1. A. Stasis dermatitis 2. B. Atopic dermatitis 3. C. Contact dermatitis 4. D. Numular eczema 5. E. Psoriasis answer. 
The most likely diagnosis is stasis dermatitis. Stasis dermatitis is a type of eczema that occurs in people with poor circulation in the legs. Stasis dermatitis typically presents as a pruritic, red rash on the lower legs. The rash may also be scaly and crusted. The differential diagnosis for this patient also includes atopic dermatitis, contact dermatitis, and numular eczema. Scenario 5. A 40-year-old woman presents with a one-month history of a painful, red rash on her face. The rash is also on her ears and lips. MCQ. What is the most likely diagnosis? 1. A. Herpes simplex virus, HSV, infection 2. B. Bacterial impetigo 3. C. Impetigo herpetiformis 4. D. Erythema multiform 5. E. Pemphigus vulgaris answer. The most likely diagnosis is HSV infection. HSV infection is a viral infection that causes cold sores and fever blisters. It is typically seen in people of all ages. HSV infection typically presents as a painful, red rash on the lips, mouth, or face. The rash may also be vesicular. Scenario 6. A 60-year-old man presents with a two-week history of a scaling, itchy rash on his scalp. The rash is also on his ears and eyebrows. MCQ, what is the most likely diagnosis? 1. A. Seborrheic dermatitis 2. B. Psoriasis 3. C. Tinea capitis 4. D. Alopecia areata 5. E. Lichen planus answer. The most likely diagnosis is seborrheic dermatitis. Seborrheic dermatitis is a common skin condition that causes scaling and a neva itchy patches on the scalp, face, and trunk. It is typically seen in people of all ages, but it is more common in adults. The differential diagnosis for this patient also includes psoriasis, tinea capitis, alopecia areata, and lichen planus. Scenario 7. A 20-year-old woman presents with a one-month history of a painless, dark brown patch on her arm. The patch has been slowly growing in size. MCQ. What is the most likely diagnosis? 1. A. Melanoma 2. B. Nevis 3. C. Lentigo 4. D. Seborrheic keratosis 5. E. Actinic keratosis answer. The most likely diagnosis is Nevis. Nevis is a benign skin growth that is caused by an overgrowth of melanocytes, which are the cells that produce pigment in the skin.